After the first time Trump was shot at, it looks like a copycat attempt has been made during his golf game in Florida. A man was caught lying in wait with an AK-47 and a GoPro thanks to the Secret Service, as they are no doubt intent on preventing a repeat of the last situation after Trump had his ear grazed by a bullet. And just as that situation inspired an intense amount of memes and hype on social media as a form of political discourse, so too has this highly publicized issue. I mean, the account Fort But Sigma has even written out the entire story utilizing Fortnite terms, which is just insane, but it represents the heavily digitized and connected world we live in. As the election draws closer and closer, it would appear extremists are becoming all too desperate to have an ultimate say on whether or not a candidate should be alive, which is very concerning. Online tensions are flaring, and people are exploiting the event as an excuse to either further their own political ideas or simply troll. Perhaps one of the most unsettling aspects of the assassination attempt is the fact that the perpetrator left behind a GoPro at the site. This means he was very likely going to try and film his attack and upload it to social media. Perhaps he knew that if he did so, it would go absolutely viral, and that might be the attention he was looking for. At this stage, perhaps his wish came true. Mainstream news and social media accounts have been relentlessly publishing his name and dissecting every single aspect of his life 24-7. The would-be shooter has, in a way, become immortalized thanks to his violent intent. He might have seen the millions of references to Trump's previous shooter and thought, hey, that could be me in the news too. This issue has been pervasive in media for years and has been explored in academic spaces. In Schildkraut's article, A Call to the Media to Change Reporting Practices for the Coverage of Mass Shootings, she notes shooters can be turned into celebrities, as perpetrators' names and faces are splashed across television screens, newspaper pages, and the internet alike. Whilst there's some merit to the idea in the name of journalistic transparency, the fact that Trump's would-be assassin set up a GoPro means that he intended for his actions to become widely circulated online, and perhaps he might have thought twice if he didn't think he'd become newsworthy. In short, Trump almost being shot at again is indicative of an increasingly strange situation brewing in the United States, where its citizens feel the need to film their execution of potential leaders. And yet at this stage, it has almost become a national sport for the country to obsess over the perpetrators. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>